So how do we measure chocolate? And now comes the most difficult part of my presentation because I have to use my two hands. Uh, uh, and I wasn't known to be that handy. Um, so, but this is a micrometer and this is the s relative simple instrument. So, but uh, a micrometer, you all know this, and this is most used to measure particle size in production. Um, because it's simple, uh, a very simple equi equipment. This is a digital, before it was uh, non-digital, but now I think most are digital. Um, so you start with putting it on zero, then you open it uh, largely enough so you can put a drop of chocolate, uh, and now comes the difficult part, doing this without spoiling chocolate everywhere. Um, So, but you put a drop of chocolate, you uh, close then actually your micrometer. You probably all know how it works, but anyhow. Uh, um, and what you do measure then is actually one number. So in this case, 18 microns. Sure, if you see it, but uh, 18 microns. So this is uh, a, a quite fine chocolate. Uh, so you have one number. This is a sort of average number, expressed mostly in micrometer. In some cases in the US, they talk also about inches, but probably because I'm not American, I still have issues with that, uh, going behind the dot to, uh, to express it. So I, I personally think micrometer is, I, microns are, are a bit more clear. If we want to measure our refiner flakes in production, we dilute them with fat or lecithin that is warm. Um, we mix it and then we measure it again with the micrometer. This is mostly used in production and as a control measure for fineness. 